I mean, guys, we have a really great question to start off the new year here, and it's from Janice and Barstow. Why do temperatures get colder after the winter solstice? Because once we get past that date, December 21st, we get more daylight. So why aren't we warming up? So let's take a look at this. When we talk about the winter solstice, you have to remember that the Earth's axis is tilted. Here's your poles, the south and the north pole. It's not a perfect up and down line. There's a tilt to that Earth's axis. So there's always a little bit of lag in the change in temperature. Not to mention, notice the amount of water that our planet is covered with versus land. It's about 60% water. 40% land. What do we know about water? It takes a lot longer to heat up and a lot longer to cool down. So what happens is the colder air actually lags behind the winter solstice. And we can actually show you that if you plot the average temperature in the Quad Cities. This is why we don't use astronomical seasons in the land of weather. We use meteorological seasons because you notice here's the first day of winter and look at our temperature is still going down despite that we're getting more daylight. It doesn't happen until we hit about March 1st when our temperature starts to go back up in terms of that average temperature. So the reason it's mainly because of course of the oceans, but also our Earth is rotating and some inertia involved with that. There was a lag in the amount of temperature response even though there is an increase in the amount of daylight. As always, you can read this later this morning just before GMQC at 11. It's at WQAD.com. We'll be right back.